Liberia Known as the oldest independent nation on the continent, Liberia boasts a rich history intertwined with that of the United States. But despite 177 years of independence, this West African nation is still grappling with underdevelopment and American influence that preeminates every aspect of its society. As the oldest independent African country, in terms of a development, we are nowhere in. Africa. We have been so unfortunate in having a good leader for our country. Guys, this is 177 years of being independent. Can we say Liberia is where they are supposed to be? How is it possible that a country with such a unique heritage remains one of the least developed in Africa? And what role does the United States play in Liberia's current state? Let's unravel this mystery together. We are currently on our way to Liberia. The goal is to try to meet up with the Liberian um, independence celebration. And we, um, we are currently in Cote d'Ivoire, and this road leads to the Liberian border. Okay, so this journey is going to take us about um, 13 hours from Cote d'Ivoire to Liberia. Okay, we want to get to the border first. Liberia was established as an outpost for returning freed slaves, a project spearheaded by the American Colonization Society. The goal was to provide a home for these freedmen while also addressing what was seen as a problem of free African Americans in the United States. As more freed slaves settled in Liberia, it grew from a small outpost into a colony and eventually a commonwealth. By 1847, Liberia declared its independence, becoming Africa's first republic. This church you are seeing behind me is where they signed the Declaration of Independence in 1847. And today marks close to 200 years of Liberian independence, guys. But what happened after independence? Despite being free from colonial rule, Liberia's ties to the United States never really loosened. The economy is heavily dollarized and the American dollar is often preferred over the Liberian dollar. We use uh, American dollars because most of our uh, 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 fellow friends tell us that oh, Liberia is the one that colonized all. And which of course, when you check in the history of Liberia, you will not, you will not see anything like America colonized Liberia. No. Oh, really? Yes. Who do they colonize? Liberia was colonized by themselves, by the ACS. Here in Liberia, they use both the American dollar and um liberian dollar okay i'm currently here with one of my um friends he's a period of change um he does he changes money right for people and what you are seeing here is just one of thousands of beauty change you'll find around liberia it's very common for you to go to a bank to meet people and transact in dollars in fact tra transacting in dollars is even more preferable than liberty so i want to ask him to know why that is so um let's see. Yeah. yeah, so why do your people use both Liberian dollar and American dollar? Yes, first I would say because the American dollar is more value here in Liberia. So when we change it, like for now, the hundred can come in the morning almost nine times. So that what people more mostly use American dollar here. Because when you change it, you get more money. The flag with its red and white stripes and single star is a clear nod to the United States. And even the accents here, particularly among the older generation, carry a distinctly American flavor. We also have American accents. It's as if Liberia never truly detached itself from its American roots. Now, let's compare Liberia to some of its African counterparts. Countries like Nigeria and Côte d'Ivoire, which gained independence much later, have surged ahead in terms of development. Why hasn't Liberia kept pace? The infrastructure, the economic stability, the standard of living, Liberia lags behind despite its long history of independence and the significant American influence. We are far back as the oldest independent African country in terms of a development. We are nowhere in Africa to be friends with you. We are lacking of common things in Liberia. We are lacking of electricity. We are lacking of power water. We are lacking of roads connectivities so we are actually far back as the oldest independent african country the reason we are like this today is because 
the bad governance practice. Yes, bad governance practice may all like this today. Liberia, as the oldest country in Africa, should be far younger than, than, than other countries. Other people, uh, other countries are supposed to take like, the practice from them, the development from them, the world uh, develop a country. Because of bad governance today, we let this. Why? And we are not happy as a Liberian to, for, for our country to be like this. Why yes. do you guys still use American dollars? We use uh, American dollars because most of our uh, 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 fellow friends tell us that oh, Liberia is the one that colonized all. And which of course, when you check in the history of Liberia, you will not, you will not see anything like America colonized Liberia. No. Oh, really? Yes. How do they colonize? Labro or Colonel by yourself, by the ACS. Oh, that's true. That's yeah. Labro so, organized by our, by our organization. But the, so what, what happens was the blacks at the time was brought back to Liberia. Yeah, were brought back to Liberia. From America. Yeah. But why did they choose to allow American influence on Liberia? Uh, if you ask me that question, I don't really know why they do that. I don't really know. Okay, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Actually, no, we are not. We have not reached there yet. We are still striving, but hoping that one day, soon, we're going to be there. Like other countries, like Ghana and Nigeria, we're going to reach that mark. Okay, but you guys are the oldest country, the oldest independent country. Yes, we are the oldest. But you know, sometimes because of our politicians, we are where we are today because of our politicians. We have been so unfortunate. They have a good leader for our country. I would like to encourage other people, other Liberians across the country to come to, to come back and develop Liberia. Especially those that are having money. Yeah, to come and develop Liberia. Because this is a country we cannot be deported from. This is a country we cannot uh, 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 like move from there and go to another place. This is our home. Liberian up there should come and develop. That's so. Good. Yeah, that's, that's my words to them. There was a, a statement called um, Liberia, a land, land of the free, something about liberty, I can't remember. For a free land of liberty, yes. The reason the people brought that, uh, the brother motto, is that Liberians are very, very much peaceful. They are loving and cheering. Whenever they, they see a stranger, they will also, they will always bring a set down to them. Yes. Okay, so the, the, the that phrase, uh, love of liberty, brought love, yes, brought all year and met all year. Okay, okay, yes. Okay, so what does that mean? What does that mean? It means we are the, the free slave from America, the, 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 the free them when it came to develop on the island, which is Shepherd Island. So that was the freedom that brought that brought them to Liberia. And today, today, Liberia is, is where now we are in the country. All right. Guys, in Liberia, there's a popular saying that says, the love of liberty brought us here, which means the love of freedom brought us here. And Liberians, I can say, are very free people, are very open-minded, right? And they are very welcoming. However, guys, this is 177 years of being independent. Can we say Liberia is where they are supposed to be? All right, Wancha, Alpha, what has been your experience so far here in Liberia? Oh, as you can see, we are walking with our bag, but we are restless. <laughs> 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 so we are headed to the border town between Sierra Leone and Liberia. I heard you saying that uh, Liberia is the oldest independent country in no, Africa. No, that, that is not correct. Are you sure? The oldest is Ethiopia. Okay. It's over 200,000 200, to 4 million years old. But the point, guys, is Liberia is 177 years old. Yes. Right? But they are, they are not, this is where they are. Guys, they are not as developed as we expect a country to be. Exactly. You know? Which means this is the excuse that a lot of African countries usually have. Exactly. That excuse, that excuse that there's an excuse African countries have, which is we are, I mean, for Nigerians, for example, we, 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 keep, we keep saying we are only 60 years old. We're only 66 years old. We are still young. So we have a lot of, give that as an excuse to why we are not developed. But you have a country like Liberia that is 177 and yet they are even far worse than Nigeria is.
So tell me, what look do you think about flag, that? The flag. <laughs> you can stay from the flag. You look at US. Apart from the one star, why US have about fifty something flag? Yeah. Fifty something stars, stars, which represent one of the each flag represent the states. Yeah, yeah. So look about the oldest. You talk about Ethiopia that have never been colonized. But my point is, for a country that is one hundred and seventy seven years, mm. why do you think that this less developed? It's more like the country has gotten independence, but the 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 this thing, the, the mind colon, yeah the mind has not. But if you look at since we came here, if you want to purchase something, what they tell you, U.S. dollars. U.S. dollars. You buy things in U.S. dollars yeah. here, like the mind mm. is still dependent on the on this flag, mm. which you can see is on U.S. On US flag. Them. Yeah. Because whenever we come, you want to buy something, you want to buy food, you want to get a hotel. What they tell you first is U.S. dollars. Meanwhile, they have. Liberian dollars, LD. Mm, mm. You understand? So, um, mm. I think we're kind of mistaking independence mm. uh, in Liberia mm. because look at look at Nigeria, they are just less than seventy years old. Mm. It comes mm. to independence. And look at how but you can far see the impact. Come. Look at how far Nigeria has come. Uh, so, right? let's not talk about it. Talk about the oldest. Let's talk about Ethiopia. Mm. That's mm. it. All right. Thank you very much, guys. You've heard from my friends, right? Um, even though Liberia is independent, guys. We still feel they are really, really dependent on their colonials, their colonial masters, because the things you use, the currency you use here in Liberia, there's Liberty dollar uh, and there is um, normal US dollar. So why is Liberia still struggling? Some argue that the lingering American influence has stunted its growth, creating a dependency rather than fostering true independence. Others point to the internal issues like governance, corruption, and a history of civil conflict. Could it be that the very ties that once helped establish Liberia are now holding it back? Please share your thoughts in the comments below. Until I see you on the next one, stay safe.